Hey guys, what's up? It's Nelson Nelson Mime from Legitimate Income Online.com. So, guys, today I'm going to show you how you're going to check if you are from email uh, and domain is blacklisted. It means that it's not going to be delivered when you come to email delivered. Okay, so here we're going to see it. So, guys, we need to stay tuned because this is some interesting part which you're going to learn. I'm give you a vivid example on how. Uh, the from email okay either you're using a web get respond and other type of tip so guys stay tuned without you yeah that body's a blessing girl i ain't trying to pressure her she messed with the temperature so guys what's going on okay we're back again so the only thing here which i'm going to show you is either you are from okay here i'm talking about your from email address and also your domain if it's going to back blacklisted okay here we're going to use a tool just a, a cool tools which is available in public by the way which is mx toolbox okay if you go on google just search it mx toolbox then you can go directly, directly to mx.com okay you can see blacklist you can look up in dns and other other stuff so when you open it up as you can see here this is it when you open it mxtoolbox.com then here you need to put your domain name then you're going to look at mx lookup okay so let me go direct to my inbox by the way this is an email which i send in through a web okay you can see up hit here via a web so here you can see the detail of the email okay where is it come from okay you can see the name working with nelly yeah so this is the domain which you need to go and put it okay so just copy it then go directly to mx toolbox then paste here okay that's all then just click mx lookup then it's going to show if it's okay or it's been listed in one of blacklisted okay that's where you're going to see that there's going to be a problem in your email delivered either the email delivered in either in spam folder or other other type of way okay you can see here here you can click and see what this is all about but here you can just come here and then finding if blacklist check so you just click blacklist okay okay as you can see here there is nothing wrong with the domain okay nothing wrong with the domain it's just, just a timeout okay you can see it here everything is just in fine it does not been listed anywhere for abuse issues so the delivery of the email is still doing good okay so you can see uh, everything is okay it's been checking from almost all blacklist especially just three which is timeout okay which is nothing to worry about that um another thing which you can either look in in this is you can check out the sender okay okay here we're talking about sender police okay which is a framework by the way so here we're talking about either you use a web okay get response you can check out if the ip address which is being used for email to because some of the ip addresses are shared by a lot of other people in the same autoresponder so you're going to look at it either the ip address is bad so it's also going to cause you a problem in the liver of your email okay so go directly to the email which you sent okay either through a web but then just go direct to this for checking even more then go to show origin okay here you're going to look at spf okay spf which is an ip address which is used for sending out uh those bulk email okay from your send okay you can see dkim which is from domain however.com so this is just in a sender police framework so you need to copy this ip address then just copy it and then go directly to mworks and also go and look out for this ip address okay just copy it like that okay then check out for 
a blacklist okay uh, of course it's going to have some of the problem by the way uh, the other things are going to go looking good okay this also is timeout but still looking not bad at all but uh you can see some of the problem here you can see is being listed in show me pay reputation okay you can go and check out the reason reason for being listed of course this is also some of the problem which cause either mm, your email not going to be delivered to some of people okay to some or either through email or other other uh, isp out there so if you go and look at the detail even though this is just one it does not mean that it's going to be a huge problem when you come to uh, email deliverability okay there's nothing wrong on that at all okay here you, you, there's no need for you to register on this so here you can see all the information here if you want to go and check it out uh, even though you can just inform the uh, autoresponder which you're using about the problem of the ip address which you're using to send out those bulking email okay broadcasting okay uh follow-up series or whatever so you can do that through uh just send out them their email if it's go each if always your email end up in either spam or does not going to be delivered or not a lot of people open your email so the problem is either you your um, ip address which they using to send in those email so guys this is just a tip for you on how you're going to check um, your domain and also <clears throat> your from email um, reputation if it's been listed either in black listed okay so it's going to it'd be a problem in a lot of way for your email okay so you need to look at it as a, as a big problem because if you send out an email but email does not been open that does not mean that people are not responding to your email sometimes there's going to be either problem or either the domain which you use is been listed okay for spam or other stuff and also for <clears throat> either your autoresponder itself they're using an ip address okay which is being listed uh which is bad okay but a lot of ip address if you look out there they're using a spam assassin so you can either look you are when you when you start and send out your email just look for spam score because they use this spam assessing score for look either this email is not going to be delivered or this email is going to go direct into a spam folder okay so also you try to use that piece of the uh, uh, a tip for you right now or you can just use it one of the uh, of the email out there okay i think i use one of it back in the day but i don't want to mention it there but you can go and check in out either your email going to end up in spam and the reason why it's going to end up in spam the good thing another tip guys i want to give you is just go and creating your email in notepad okay you can just go in notepad which is totally clean okay there's no any type of code okay inside of it there's no type of code so just draft your email in notepad then just copy it and then go directly to your mm, to your autoresponder then you just create a cool cool uh, email just copy it from notepad into your autoresponder then just in, include your link okay and check it, the reputation okay the spam score on it so this is just a tip guys for those who are doing email marketing because email marketing the key keep building your email listing if you don't know how to build your email list because i have a link below make sure that you go through the link below i show you on how i build in an email listing while i keep in making some bucks okay i keep in making is a 50 dollar a day and uh, consistency that is all about the three full training i give out below the link okay so thanks so much for taking your time because you are awesome you are amazing and take care make sure that you hit the subscribe button because it can help me either create more video and also uh algorithm okay i know youtube sometimes it's a, it's a bit headache but just go through this this is how you're going to do okay very simple guys 
very 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 simple so thank you so much for take your time because you are awesome enjoy your day peace okay bye